Hey guys, I wanted to shoot a blog here. Um, I wanted to talk about 407C. Um, I'm going to try to keep this one short. Uh, I hope the video quality is okay. I'm actually shooting this video on my computer. Uh, I'm going to try to start shooting some of these blogs on my computer. I'm not sitting in my office, obviously. Um, there's been a lot of uh, good comments and a lot of other comments about the 407C video that I did. Basically, guys, uh, I'm here to answer a few of those questions and clear a few things up. Um, the first thing I want to clear up is, is that I am not going to be using 407C on a gas and go. Now, I don't really do gas and goes. If I find a system low, you know, I can usually, you know, sell a leak search, you know, and find the leak. And, you know, I can't always sell a whole system. Sometimes you don't need a whole system. Sometimes you just need an indoor unit or an indoor evaporator. But if I ever go to a customer's house and they say, look, and, I, and, and you know, and I look at the unit and I, and I think it's only going to take about two pounds or so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll use the real R22. Um, the only reason that I removed the R22 charge from that train you saw in the video was because I was changing the air handler and it actually got changed today. Um, and I didn't want that man to have to suffer through the weekend with no air. So in, instead of going ahead and putting nine pounds of R22, that's almost $600 a jug over here, I went ahead and made the conversion then. Now, Larry Cole did bring up a very good point you know, about the leaking and stuff, uh, about what it does. And I was not aware of that. You know, I'm not, I mean, I don't know everything. I wasn't aware of that. Um, I've talked to some other fellows about it. Also talked to Zach, you know, and me and Zach came to an agreement that if you lose just a very small amount of refrigerant, I, I don't think it's going to affect it that much. When I went back today, I, I hadn't lost much because my charge was almost still dead. I mean, was pretty much still dead on. So I didn't lose. I didn't lose hardly any charge at all. So uh, I pumped the, the unit down, changed out the dryer. You know, uh, we put a, well. I actually didn't even have a dryer. Just had that little small piece of copper. I removed it. I put a brand new filter dryer in the system. New uh, Schrader cores, everything. Uh, I didn't get any. Vi I wish I could have videoed the job, but I just, I just didn't. I mean, I. Uh, you know, sometimes you just you just can't, and or you just you just so busy you forget. So, but uh, you know, I just want to clarify that I will not be using 407C just to top somebody off. Or or or, uh, you know, I'm not going to go to somebody's house that just needs about a pound, two pounds, two and a half pounds of refrigerant. I'm not going to remove all the R22 and pump oil and go with 407C. That's not what I'm going to do with 407C. I'm using 407C. When a customer uh, has a leak and they want to change just the evaporator or just the air handler or blah, 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 then at once I do that, I will convert the system over to 407C, just like I did in this job. Uh, another big thing is people are saying, oh, well, you know, um, they're saying, aren't you supposed to remove the, the mineral oil before you put the POE? Um you know, I've read two different things. I've read from Emerson that that's what you're supposed to do. But I know that Zach uh, has read and so has Jim. I can never say Jim's last name, but uh, last name starts with a P. He's the refrigeration guy. Great guy. The guy's a genius when it comes to, you know, oil changes and or adding oil and stuff. And I've talked to him on the phone and he's helped me out. Both of those guys have told me that uh, you look at the however many ounces of mineral oil is in your compressor and you add 15% of that in POE oil, you'll be good to go. Zach has been doing it for over a year and he said he has not had a lick of trouble. Jim has been doing oil changeovers like that. Uh, not even changeovers, just oil you know, adding POE on top of uh, on top of mineral for several years, and he told me he has had no trouble. Uh, Jim, both guys have told me that 407C is a great refrigerant, and I agree. I love it. 
So I just kind of wanted to clarify that, that I will not, you know, that I'm, I'm not topping people off of 407C. I'm not adding 407C on top of R22. Uh, if somebody's just a pound or two low, you know, if I go over there and they're just the suction pressure, you know, and the superheat is just a little high and the suction pressure is a little low and, I'm, and I think it's only going to take a pound or two, I'll just use the real R22. But I'm not gonna do. I'm not going to fill a system up with a new leak tank. So when I do an evaporator, yeah. Uh, so when I do an evaporator change out or an air handler change out, I'm gonna go to 407C because it's cheaper. But I just want to clarify those things real quick on uh, on that because there's been a lot of a lot of comments on the video, uh, so you know I hope that that co that clarifies everything that you guys were asking. Um, so thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.